guys in this video we are going to see an example of first order circuit here this question is asking derive the governing differential equation for the following circuit express the answer in standard form and determine the static gain and time constant first of all we have to know how does the standard form of the governing differential equation look like because we are going to derive that one first of all let's write the standard form standard form look like this tau dvc of t divided by dt plus vc of t is equal to kvs of t okay vc of t is the voltage across the capacitor vs of t is the voltage of the source now we have to derive this kind of pattern using like Kirchhoff's current law or Kirchhoff's voltage law here i am going to use Kirchhoff's current law Kirchhoff's current law says whatever the current entering the node should be equal to the current exiting the node and if i take this node and this is going to be vc of t and the current entering this node should be equal to current exiting this node and I'm going to set this one to the ground and here we can we are going to apply Kirchhoff's current law and current entering this node is going to be let's assume current is going in this direction so current through the voltage source is going to be Vs of t minus this node that is Vc of t divided by the volt uh, divided by the resistance in between this is Ra and this is Rb the resistance in between V sub T and V C of T is R A. So we have to divide this one by R A. So this is current entering. This one must be equal to current through this capacitor and current through this resistor. Current through this capacitor, we can write this one as C D V C of T over D T. And current through this resistor can be written as V C of T divided by R A. Okay. And uh, this is our Kirchhoff's current law equation and now what we are going to do is we are going to bring this one into this pattern in order to do that first if you notice the voltage source should be other side of equation and the voltage capacitor like the voltage capacitor vc of t should be in one side right so we are going to bring all the vc of t in one side and we are going to keep the vs v of t in the other side in that way we are going to have vs of t over ra and i'm going to move this vc negative vc of t over ra to this side and if I do that, this is going to be C D V C of T over D T. And here we are going to have V C of T over R A. And if I move this negative V C of T over R, okay, this one should be R B, right? Because we have R A here. So let's call this one R B. So this is R B. And if I move this R A negative V C of T over R A, this is going to be plus V C of T over r a okay so this is what we derive right now now let's try to combine these two together because here we have vc of t vc of t we can combine these two together in that way we will get vs of t over r a is equal to c d v c of t over d t and this is going to be plus 1 over r b plus 1 over r a times vc of t okay so to bring the standard pattern you can notice that in front of this vc of t there's nothing right so we have to get rid of this one but before i do that let's take the let's combine these two together because we can take the common common denominator and combine these two together if you do that this is going to become vs of t divided by r a and in the other side of the equation we are going to have c dvc of t over dt and then if we take the common denominator that's going to be r a times r b and in the top we are going to have r a plus r b that one multiplied by v c of t now to get rid of this value in front of v c of t because if you look at the standard form there's nothing in in front of v c of t right so we have to get rid of this one to get rid of this one we can divide everything by divide everything by r a plus r b over r a this r b r a r b and if you do that this is going to become so this will flip around right when you divide this will flip around flip around and go to the top and from this one you can see this r a and this r a cancels you will get r b v s of t over r a plus r b and here you are going to have the opposite reciprocal of this one that's going to be r a r b over r a plus r b and here this will cancel all together so you are going to just get vc of t but i have to copy this one too this is going to be c 
dvc of t over dt and here we are going to have just vc of t okay so this is the standard governing differential equation now the next thing is they are asking to find out the data static gain and also the time constant time constant is the value in front of dvc at dvc of t over dt okay oh here i made a mistake i think c dvc of t over dt oh yeah th this is correct this is correct so here in the standard here we are going to have static we are going to find out the static gain and the time constant time constant is the value in front of dvc of t over dt in front of dvc of t over dt we have ra rb c over ra plus rb right so this is going to be the time constant so we can say tau is equal to ra rb and also we have a c divided by ra plus rb and the st static gain is going to be the value in front of vs of t in our case the value in front of vs of t is rb over ra plus rb so this is going to be k is equal to rb over ra plus rb and that's going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching